Hello and welcome to my video where I'm going to show you how to decorate a pebble by weaving some yarn. This tutorial is inspired by Japanese wrapped stones and the idea of these stones is not only to be ornamental but also to have a calming effect. Okay so to follow along you're going to need some yarn, a pebble and a yarn needle. The more symmetrical and flatter the pebble the better and it also helps if the sides are relatively straight. In terms of the yarn, anything will do, but I think medium weight is best. Try and choose colours that contrast with the pebble colour. Right, so the first thing you need to do is decide which side of the pebble is the back and have that facing towards you. Then take the end of your chosen yarn and drape it over the pebble. You'll want some excess yarn left at the end, so make sure you leave a decent sized yarn tail. Then wrap the yarn all the way around the pebble, making sure you trap the yarn tail underneath. Then do a few more wraps, again trapping the tail underneath each time. The number of wraps is up to you, but I wanted five strands to be seen at the front of the pebble. Make sure you keep tension in the yarn whenever you're wrapping it, so that the strands are taut and not loose. Once you've done all of the wraps that you want, make sure the working yarn is held in place so all of the yarn doesn't just fall off. To do this you can rest the pebble on the yarn, you can hold the yarn with your hand or you can use a little masking tape. Just make sure to use the tape in moderation because it can damage your yarn. Then feed the yarn tail into your yarn needle and weave it through the strands at the back of the pebble. To weave, you simply need to go in and out of the strands all the way across to the left. Then cut your working yarn to leave you with a long yarn tail and feed this into the yarn needle. Feed this yarn needle under all of the strands like so, moving diagonally up to the previous yarn tail. Then weave back across to the right, just above the previous yarn tail. Just make sure you weave between all of your yarn wraps, which is five in my case. Keep weaving back and forth until you've used up all of this yarn tail. Make sure however that you finish on the same side as where the previous yarn tail ends. Then once you've checked your strands are all where you want them, i.e. evenly spaced and under tension, you need to double knot the two yarn tails together. Now that the first colour is finished with, you need to feed the next colour of yarn into your yarn needle. Weave it in and out of the strands underneath the woven area moving from right to left. Pull the yarn through to give you at least six inches or so on the left side, then remove the yarn needle. Then cut your yarn so the total length is approximately two meters. I personally used about 2.2 meters, and if you want to do more weaving than me, then you'll need more yarn. Feed this yarn tail into your yarn needle, and then weave from right to left. Then from left to right. Use your needle to push these horizontal yarn strands upwards so they're all next to each other and as neat as possible. Next, turn the front of the pebble to face you and then weave across these strands from left to right. Right. 
Wrap the yarn around to the back of the pebble, take it under the strands at the back, and then repeat the process again and again until you have at least several inches of yarn remaining. I personally did nine wraps. As you weave, make sure you always alternate going above or below the strands and also keep an eye on the strands to make sure they stay where you want them. They do have a tendency to stray. Then with the back of the pebble now facing you, take the yarn up behind all of the horizontal yarn strands. Then weave back and forth through the grey strands just under where the previous green yarn tail has been woven. Weave at least two or three lines, finishing on the same side as where the previous yarn tail ended. Then tie the two yarn tails together in a double knot. Then all that's left to do is use the yarn needle to feed each of the four yarn ends under the woven areas to hide them, like so. And cut off the excess yarn. Taking the time to hide the yarn ends really makes it look a lot neater. And that's it, the woven pebble is now complete. I really hope you enjoyed this project and thank you very much for watching.